Greetings and salutations, viewers. I'm Star Princess HLC, and welcome back to Pocket Mirror. When we last left off, well, we found a bunch of marbles. We don't have a reflection, apparently, and apparently the strange pocket mirror, if we lose it, it's game over. But we're just kind of wandering around and trying to figure out what's going on, because this far, we're all a little confused, I think. And that door is shut. And yeah, doorknobs, well, stuck. Do I have a key of some kind? No, I just have my pocket mirror. Can I do anything with this pocket mirror? No, I can just look at it and it's very pretty. And letter G is spot on its back. Hello, Mr. Pumpkin. Yes, I am looking for something. What do you mean? It laughed at me. Why? Well, that was helpful. Do any of you pumpkins have any clues as to what it is I'm supposed to do here? <laughs> my hand! Well, okay, not touching that. She's looking this way. Oh no, look away before you get turned to stone. What am I, Medusa? That was rude. Just pretend you're asleep or she'll... Wow, you guys are mean. What about this pumpkin? That pumpkin's just sleeping. So what am I supposed to do here exactly? I can't cross that area. And I can't go through the door. This is a problem. What do I do here? Looks like just a normal mirror. Okay. And it's closed shut. The door's stuck. Well, then what am I supposed to do here, folks? Now they're all just pretending to sleep. I can't do anything with that. What am I supposed to do? The door is stuck. Was I not supposed to go this way? I don't want to touch it. Well, what am I supposed to do? Nope, all these pumpkins are sleeping. Sure it's not something to do with that mirror. There's gotta be something I can do. What? That's a question. What? What exactly do I do? Right. Game, help me out here. If I keep clicking on this. No, that doesn't help me. Stop torturing me, you sadist. I don't want to touch it. Yeah, you didn't stop touching it before. Blinded as sacrifice for those in dismay. Stolen by the just, childish play. Right and left, taken by the hand. Our quest is your demand. What? Did that open the door? Oh, it opened the door. Okay, just reading a poem is enough, apparently. Weird. How about you, pumpkin? Drawing is based upon perspective, which is nothing more than a thorough knowledge of the function of the eye. Aren't I smart? I'll take your word for it, Mr. Pumpkin. Rebirth, 1785. The painting of an elderly woman surrounded by thorns. And the twist is, it's the witch's house. I don't know. Fate, 1655. Grasping the dagger buried into her chest, a lady sinks to the bottom of the sea. Poor girl. Depends on whether or not she put it there herself. Satisfaction, 1800. A woman sits on a throne, wrapping her hands around an expressionless small child's neck. Ooh, what's that? I got a pumpkin charm. What does that do for me? I gotta look that up. Let's see here. Oh. It's just a charm, I guess. Weird. I wouldn't mind having my inside scooped out as long as I could become a yummy pumpkin pie. That's slightly morbid. A dim light overflows through the window.
Nope, you don't say anything new. Okay, thank you. And I was looking at these pictures. The painting woman lying in bed surrounded by representations of death and demons. Punishment 1538. Girl joins her own two hands as her hair burns in crimson flames. Oh, well, that's a lovely uh, image to think about. Delusion 1760. The painting of an important looking female aristocrat surrounded by various young girls desperately clinging to her. I don't like this painting. That's kind of creepy. Did you know pumpkin flowers are edible? I did not know that. Thank you, Mr. Pumpkin, or Mrs. Pumpkin, or whatever pumpkin you are. It's been painted over. Aw, I want to see it. Numb 1633. Skeleton hands reach out to a lady dancing passionately amongst the flames. Again, slightly morbid. Retribution, 1598. Reunited in a golden room, various smiling women witnessed the murder of a newborn child by decapitation. Such a horrible painting. Why would you murder a baby? Unless it was a demon baby, then you might have an excuse, but... Dim light overflows through the window. Bridal Virgin, 1666. A ghostly pale girl sits on a well-carved wooden chair wearing nothing but an airy white veil. Is it the corpse bride? Rightful Dominance, 1543. Various women engage in a heated celebration, dancing over the corpses of numerous men. Oh dear, I could make such a joke about that, but I'm not gonna. Destiny, 1843. Grasping the dagger buried in her chest, a lady sinks to the bottom of the sea with a mischievous grin on her lips. Ugh. Well, that's normal. That's a nice painting. Girl's ears are a little big, though. Sisterly, 1844. The, the painting of a confident woman. Such a pretty lady. Uh, murky dark water drips endlessly from beneath the frame of the painting. This is gonna end badly. Yep. What the? It talked? I didn't see what it said, but it talked. Excuse me, miss. Yes? Could you please show me what you've got there? What should I do? Uh, don't give her the pocket mirror? I'm sorry, but I can't let you have my pocket mirror. I see, it's alright then. I'm sorry you have to have troubled you. But I would still love to take a closer look at that marvelous mirror of yours. Okay, that was weird. You changed your mind? No. Hang on. Uh-oh. Well, this is great. I have no choice but to give her my pocket mirror, it seems. All right. Fine. All right, just please be careful. <laughs> I'll be taking this, thank you very much. No, please give it back. How far are you willing to go? I'll do anything, just please give it back. How generous you. I'll gladly take you up on that offer then. I'm sick and tired of being stared at. I command you to take that woman's left eye if you want to live. Resist, and we shall take yours instead. What do I do? This one? This one? This one? No, it's not that one. Which one is it? This one? Which one is it that I have to take the, uh, the eye from? Can we, can we stop with the laughing? The laughing is kind of disturbing. Nope, still locked. So what am I supposed to do in this situation? Do I talk to her again? Sick and tired of being stared at. Command to take that woman's left eye if you want to live. 
Which woman? Because there's a few pictures here. Because I don't think I have a dagger of any kind. No, I don't. What am I doing? I gotta do something, right? What exactly is it I'm supposed to do? Oh, that woman, huh? I don't know what to do. Uh... Well, I guess I can see what happens if I don't pluck it out. I better not. I guess I have no choice. Alright, pluck her eye out. I'm so sorry. Curse you, Annalise. Sick of uh, being stared at. I created it. Was, uh, I did it. <laughs> but I did it. I. St Game, you're making no logical sense here. What? I plucked out the eye. You told me to pluck out the eye. I plucked out the eye. What more do you want from me? This is weird. Okay, so if I run, does this... Okay. Oopsie, see, see, see. Well, I'm out of there, but I lost my pocket mirror. And I got a blue eyeball. Gross. Well, this is a problem, because I still don't have my mirror back. Can I just go back in? I can, okay. Holy crap! This place went to hell in a handbasket. It's got dark, hasn't it? Now you've done it. Apparently. Good god. Oh, jeez. Has this been unpainted over? No. Okay. Is this one still dripping? Okay, well, I got you, your damn... Okay, so it's right from now on, I'll always be number one. This can't be. Here, you can have your little toy back. Thanks. <laughs> Pain is in to part. The lady who was once there is no longer recognizable. I'm sorry. But why did I do that? Stop giggling, would ya? Dim light overflows through the window. Very dim, because, ugh, look at this place. Explain to me why I did that, game. It would be nice. I don't know why I did that. And that still burns me. So what do I need this eye for, exactly? And I can go back out here, at least. What's this? I don't remember that. I don't remember this. I want to see it once more. Oh, this is new. There was once a certain illusion I saw in a mirror I once knew so well. There were a pair of crimson-colored irises accompanied by only their reflection. The two eyes remained still, not once blinking in the short amount of time they had stayed, staring directly at me and no one but me. All I can remember from the day I was born are a few memories, forged encounters which I have never experienced in my forgotten existence, Recollections which didn't belong to me. In all honesty, who am I? To whom do these memories belong, I wonder? They are certainly not mine, and yet here they dwell inside this small room where I sit. Ever reminded of these fabricated crimson irises, which replayed once and again, a thousand times has such a memory been showcased inside my small mind. Okay. And yet I still can't reach any conclusion other than my complete existence has always been and always will remain controlled 
by those same eyes. Living in this small room, I remember a dream I once had. A tremendously vivid one. words. A red carpet had been laid before my feet, which guided me towards a single opening on a darkened wall, one that seemed to advance further and further with every step I took. In an instant, I was thrown into a world that I did not know existed. On the other side of the gap, I found a reflection. My reflection. Silky brown hair covered my back, braided into thick braids on each side of my head, which beautifully framed my cherry red eyes. Standing before me was a little girl dressed in fancy frilly clothing. Who was this person I had never seen? Could it be me? I recall lifting my small hand and touching my own cheek. Such a gesture engraved itself onto my memory. The soft texture of my skin, the free and effortless movement I had made to rise my hand made me realize I could move. Such a strange sensation of empowerment filled my soul and body, leading me to a feeling of excitement which led my imagination astray. I was, not only was I real, I was alive. That little girl reflected on the mirror was me, and I could breathe and live. Life dwelled inside my body, and yet, as I turned my head to look outside, the same light which had peeked into my small room had blinded me once again, leaving me inside my own room, where I stayed. Deprived of senses, deprived of a sensation, I once knew as life, I stayed. Please, show me the light. I want to see it once more. I want to live. Ooh, such a sad story. That was interesting. Is that Candle crying or somebody else is crying? Doctors have yet to find a way to successfully transplant an eyeball. The optic nerve that connects the eye to the brain is too sensitive to safely reconstruct it. To be safely reconstructed, yeah. Well, there's the iris eyes on the floor. An eye for an eye! The window is so dirty, the light barely goes through. Was there a flash? I want to see the light once again. There's something in there. Um, would you like an eyeball? Various dusty jars rest in the corner each one carrying different colored eyeballs. I got another pumpkin charm. What do these charms do for me, exactly? Blood, big splatter blood stains the wall as small gelatinous pieces of flesh still hang to it. There used to be a mirror in this room, though it shattered long ago. Did you know the mirrors reflect light pretty well? Yeah, let's see, another eyeball. No. There's gotta be something I can do here. Eyeball floats in murky water sealed in an old jar. There's a lot of eyeballs in this area. No, I won't read it again. If only there were enough shards. Okay, I get that, I get that. So what? So maybe if I go back and get the mirror there? Like, there's this mirror. Devoid of reflections. No. Won't let me do that. No. Don't want to do that. Anything here I can take? I don't think there's any shards here that I can take. I have the eyeball. That's about it. This is kind of weird. One thing about this game is it's definitely... Whoa. 
What? The eyeball thing? Yeah, that's kind of weird. Come on, there's gotta be something in this room that I can use. That might be what I need. Hang on. I see, I see. So if I push this here, here, and here, so that way I can at least turn this around and push this over here. Does that work? No. Is there any other pieces of shard that I can take? Cause I'm guessing I have to... I just need one more mirror shard. Well, where do I get that other mirror shard? Do I break the mirror? I probably could use my pocket mirror. mirror shard. You sure I can't just use my pocket mirror here? That might work. There we go. Use the pocket mirror. Thank you, miss. Now I can finally give this back to you. <laughs> I got a red eyeball. At last we meet again. What? I better take it with me. I'm just gonna get out of here now because that was a little creepy for my taste. What exactly am I doing with this stuff? Uh. Nope, okay, still can't do anything with that. What am I doing with the eyes? Do I put them in like a one of the pumpkins? Maybe I give it back to the girl who lost her eyes? you. Leia laughs at the top of her lungs, holding a blood-stained eye patch in her left hand. I don't want to stay here any longer. You think I want to be here, sweetie? No, Bookhead. I guess she's basically saying, like, you don't have to be here. Leave, stupid. Fair enough. Fair enough. But then what do I do with these eyeballs? It's locked again. So I'm not supposed to go that way. She's looking this way. I oh, know you get turned to stone. Yeah, okay. Nope. So I must have something to do in that area, but I don't know what. Because that door's locked. When Annalise came in, how did she grin to see Vienna's patch? Mother Vex did whip her necks for causing Vienna's disaster. Isn't that Jack and Jill? Yeah, that's Jack and Jill, I think. But now I must have something to do here, and I don't know what. I don't like being in here either, sweetie, but obviously we gotta be doing something here. There's gotta be a reason why I can't go in the other room. Hmm. I mean, likely I'm not supposed to be here, but I don't know where else to go. There's gotta be something I have to do. Yeah, that door's locked again. You sure I don't do anything with this mirror? Is there anything over on this side? 
Like, where am I supposed to go from here? This is a big issue I have with this game. It's like, okay, I get that you're supposed to explore and figure things out, but it's not very clear half the time. Find a sacrifice right and left. Hmm. Well, maybe I'm supposed to put the eyes in the statues. That's a thought. All right, let's, uh, insert eyeball. And then... Insert eyeball. We are forever grateful, miss. Oh, okay. Boy, am I dumb? I didn't even notice that. Okay. Let's try this again, shall we? Oh, this looks ominous. I'll just keep going straight, because I don't think I can go anywhere else. No, it looks like this is a straight path to... whatever. I don't know, I can't really see. It's very dark. Did you know a human head remains conscious for about 15 to 20 seconds after decapitation? Didn't know that, thanks. <laughs> What's that giggling noise? Something's following me, isn't it? Uh, this is just like the witch's house, except I don't have, I have even less light than in the witch's house. It's ridiculously dark. What was that? This place is creepy. It's locked. Oh, great. So I gotta go find the key? It's so freaking dark. Uh, Monsieur Un Gabel. Little, t little eye engraved on the back of the fork. What are these? I don't know. I don't know any of this. It's creepy. I can barely see anything. I'm essentially just wandering through darkness, hoping I find something. It's so bright outside. Can I just open the curtains and make this place a little less dreary? I wouldn't turn around right now if I were you. Ooh, spooky. Ha ha! When it feels like- What is wrong with this pumpkin? When a person dies hearing it, it's generally the last sense to go. I wonder if you can hear ghosts as you die. Body decomposes four times as fast in water than on lands. Be sure not to drown since you're so pretty. This guy is creepy. Okay, so where exactly am I going at this? I'm kind of wandering about in- <laughs> Never mind! Okay, good to know. I'm gonna have to look up a walkthrough on this one, because this one's a weird-ass game. Like, I appreciate that it's so pretty, but at the same time, there's a lot of problems with it that I'm having. So, I think we'll continue on in the next part. But for now, this is Star Princess HLC saying, Thank you very much for watching, and have a fond farewell.